Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gotlet Podcast. Last week we went over the top five seasons with the best boot orders, and now we're going over the bottom five with the worst boot orders ever. And I'm here with Kehlani, of course. Hi. But she's super depressed right now, so no, she might not, not be given all the energy that she usually has. She in her mood. Disclaimer, this episode discusses suicide. Womp womp, if you're suicidal, get over it. All right. <laughs> so, no laugh, okay. We're also joined by our lovely drinks today. I have lime Coca-Cola from Showcase Cinemas. I have... The summer edition Red Bull, uh, Karuba, from yours truly, Target and Abington. So, as you know, hopefully you remember what makes a good boot order from the first episode, but if you missed it or don't remember, it's basically how entertaining is the season based on who went out in what order. So, having a bad boot order means, would this season end up being much more entertaining if the elimination <coughs> order was reversed? That Sorry. was nasty. <laughs> so, starting our list off with number 9 out of 13, technically, because bottom 5. Uh, season 8, Resolutions. So, this one is a little kind of hard, because it's not actually that bad. I think the merge was really good. Like, for example, if this one was completely reversed, the season would be pretty bad, honestly, because... Like, Stella made top two. Colin won. Uh, Ashley Canfield in fourth place, and she was, like, the queen of that season. Woohoo, Ashley! But this only gets a placement in the bottom five just because of the people... There could have been some really interesting people should they have stayed in longer. Like, this doesn't necessarily apply to Jada or Callie, but it does apply to Aaron Maroney, Chloe Nash, and Giada Morrell, especially Giada. I think I said this in the last episode, and I will say it again. Giada robbed. <laughs> she was so robbed in this season. She won Music Mania and then got voted out the very next cycle. It was so depressing, and I felt so bad for her. But, to be honest, that's all you really got to touch on. This season, overall, had an okay boot order. It just ended up here because of process of elimination. Similarly to the next one on the list, the very first season, everything that started everything, besides the Zoom era, Season one, new beginnings. <laughs> now, Kehlani was actually on this season. <laughs> and she was out uh, second. She didn't get voted out. She quit. She's the first person to ever have the title of quitting the gauntlet. And she also has. The, she's also in the quitters category on the gauntlet wiki. So she has her very own page on the list with Amy Walsh and Karina. Um, oh, and... Uh, Livia and Olivia from Swifties. <laughs> Sorry, I was depressed and I wanted to kill myself. Oh, God, if only you did. God, if only I did. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking be here right now. I know, and then you wouldn't have to go to school. <laughs> oh, I should have went through with it. <laughs> Alright, but anyways. So, New Beginnings, a lot of this comes from, it was just, you know, the first season, so it was very early. But if you think about it, a lot of people who went out early would have been, like, they would have been ops and it would have made the season a lot more interesting. For example, like, uh, Manny was third out. <laughs> Colin was fourth out. Logan was fifth out, but Logan was also like depressed. Like he didn't want his. his <laughs> Why tri- was everyone depressed this season? Logan was depressed because you quit. Actually, I remember he said he's trying to make an alliance with you, and when he proposed that you quit. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't remember that, but <laughs> the thing is, it was season one, so it's not like you were really missing anything. Yeah, that's true. I especially remember. But, like, when, after the jury voted, I waited, like, two weeks to reveal the winner just because I didn't want to. <laughs> I was bored, but Chelsea won, and she ate. Um, so, that season had a pretty good top three overall. Savannah Milso, third place, never came back. I love Savannah Milso. I'm a Savannah Milso, like, super fan. Like, forever. Jessica got fourth place. I'm glad Jessica lasted that long, because she's always great in the gauntlet. Like, back when she wasn't busy, her life is so, like, hectic now, so she can't really give it, like, a hundred like she used to. She, oh my god. But that's not her fault. She's a go-getter. She's a trooper for dealing with so much shit outside of gauntlet. I know, right? And, like, in school, outside of school, and then all of a sudden, like, being like, yeah, let's join gauntlet. Let's play gauntlet. I know, like... like it, you're a trooper, Like, dog. she was even in Y2K, you know? Like, she, yeah. like, she always going for it. Like, like, me and Jessica, we're locked in. We, like... We speak, like, once every month, but we're locked in as besties just because of Gauntlet, you know? <laughs> you picking up what I'm putting down? No. But that's pretty... <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much all I gotta say for, um, season one. 
So now we're going to move on to some that require a lot of talking about. Now, this one, you might be shocked. Your jaw might be on the floor that this isn't bottom on a list. My jaw is still attached to my face. Kill yourself. <laughs> um, number 11 out of 13. Uh, Cameo Island, season 4. And I usually shit on this season so much. <laughs> and usually I do, and I'm very proud of it. But this one is not the worst boot order. And you'll see why very soon. But all I really have to say about this one, this season had a really, like, it was very short. There were only 12 people in it. Um, I don't remember this one. So, Corey was first out, which is actually, like, a bad thing. Because, you know, like, Corey became super up. So, if she stayed in, this season would have had, like, actual drama. Because this season didn't have any drama. It was just Shannon deciding who, who wanted to go home, and then they went home. <laughs> that was the whole thing. <laughs> so, Shannon basically ran this entire season. She did. She was, she was running it from the beginning, taking out all the returning players. Um, except for uh, Final 2, this season loses, like, all its aura points because Maddie Lorgery beat her by a 5-0 to zero jury vote. No shot, you just like, lost all their aura points. But yeah, a lot of people just didn't do much. Like, Llewellyn was in this season, she got 5th place. And Llewellyn was really good in Second Chance, but, like, in the, her debut season, she didn't do much. I forgot that you existed. Literally, like, I forgot, I, I forgot half this cast existed, honestly. A lot of them haven't come back, too. Like, you had yeah. uh, Emily Gustafson never came back, Mia Ratic never came back. Cool people like um, Emily Dunham was in this season and Jeremy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. And Jeremy was in the season too, and they like did Jeremy. not make the merge. Very sad. But, you know, speaking of second chance, that brings us to our next entry. This might be even more surprising, but second to last on the list is Second Chance, which was season seven, all returning players. Nice cast of 15. This season, the more and more I think about it, it had a bad boot order. And. I feel like Redemption Island, if anything, helps it. This is one of the two seasons that had Redemption Island on it, so if you get out, you can come back in. And Corey was first voted out again, <laughs> and she came back at the merge. Oh. And then at the merge, Corey was first voted out again, oh. and she won every single duel except for the last one, where Jessica came back and ended up winning. But I'm just thinking, just the mere fact that Corey barely played... Corey never survived a single tribal council that season, and she got seventh place out of 15. Sucks. But a lot of people who I think would have been interesting if they made it farther were lost before the merge. Like, um, we lost, um, wrong season, wrong season. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about season seven. Leo hasn't appeared yet. <laughs> but we lost Ant Anthony DeFilippo, who's like master instigator. Oh, yeah. We lost Cat Mini. Um, we lost Maheen. We lost Michaela Tuket. I'm like always going to be a Michaela Tuket supporter. And we lost, we lost Wes, <laughs> um, before. Fucking <laughs> but uh um like, it was okay during the merge though i always I, the jessica's comeback and ended up winning that season i think really makes it really good but again the boot order was kind of depressing like we lost um we lo i feel like we lost llewellyn too soon erica i think went out at the, the erica went out at the right time i'd say but also lily bossy <laughs> You giggling. Lily Bossy ended up, like, sacrificing herself at Final Six, and, like, that was about to be a throwdown between Shannon and Emily Dunham, and it was just prevented because Lily was like, can you guys vote me out? Like, I don't really want to... <laughs> but it was that okay. That sounds like me all through Swifties versus the World. <laughs> Didn't I do that? Me you did do that, actually. I said, I think you did. I said, you actually had a reason, though, so it's different. I did. <laughs> my, my, my uncle had a brain tumor, but he, but he doesn't anymore. Well, actually, he still does. Just a little one. <laughs> just a teeny baby. It's just a little good. info dump for today. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. And then Megan got blindsided by um by Allison Leary. Allison Megan Leary. Joyce? Yeah, Allison Leary flipped on Megan Joyce and Shannon, and then Megan went home. It was hilarious. That's actually funny. Imagine being voted out by Allison. I get her out. I'm surprised I didn't give her anxiety. She but, have a panic attack. Yeah, you guys actually gave me anxiety. Because, uh, you guys crossed my boundaries by coming up, showing up to my house unannounced today. <laughs> it was Kale's idea. I okay, Lice. <laughs> I, I don't keep this in the podcast. All right. <laughs> Anyways, rounding out the list of the seasons, five seasons with the worst boot order, we have Mystery Island in last place. Is anyone really surprised that season was dog yeah, shit? Yeah, no, that season was really bad. Now, there's a lot of things of why we can say, like, a lot of the losses were depressing. For example, first person voted out was Amanda. Um, and Who the fuck is that? She's remembered is for... sending furry porn Yeah, one? she sent furry porn in the main <laughs> chat, and that's why she okay, was voted that out. And she stayed in, I wonder what would have happened. Like, I feel like it might have been good. You guys probably would have seen much more furry porn than you would wish. <laughs> and then... 
Um, Karina quit, which I knew Karina was going to quit when I cast her on the season. I just did it because I knew she would wreck havoc, like, the first hour. (laughs) But I'm just saying, like, theoretically, if she didn't and she was screwed with everyone the whole, like, the whole season, that season, this would be, like, top one seasons, like. (laughs) What even is top one season? Not even in boot order. Um. Did you say Dynamic Duos? Dynamic Duos was always going to be my favorite. I really like All Stars 2, though. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, and then we lost Amy. Amy quit because she had, like, an iPhone 4 and it couldn't, like, handle the text messages. Who the fuck was Amy? But she would have been good. Um, I don't know. That's Lily Core when she couldn't handle the text messages <laughs> in Dynamic Duo. But as, as far as boot order goes, I feel like a lot of people overstayed their welcome. That doesn't apply to the top five, I'd say. I'd say Natalie, Jada... Natalie, Jada, Megan... Emily and Adrian, they they were all like pretty good. It was nice to see them make top five, but everyone else, it's just kind of like <laughs> Adrian won that season, right? He did, yeah. yeah. You couldn't really tell like what was going on just because like I feel like a lot of people were like either left too soon or stayed way too long. They never really delivered anything. Like for example, the most glaring flaw is uh, Bailey because mm. her Sarah Duncan this morning Sorry. she she would have uh, just like got ejected pre merge. Yeah. For not participating in, not voting at the tribals, but she just, um, her tribe never lost. Like, she got lucky with the swap, and she, her tribe never lost until the, um, until, until the merge. So she ended up getting that place, and she was on the jury. <laughs> um, you go, girl. And she still got ejected. Corey had immunity until the merge, and immediately got voted out 9-1 to one at the merge. Shocking. Definitely... So she was. She definitely overstayed. Like she wasn't really delivering any new drama. You think she'd get the hint when mm-hmm. people keep voting her out? Rian, a hundred percent overstayed as welcome. Who the fuck was that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? He didn't do anything. Simple. Also, he had an Android, so the chats were green until oh. top five. Um, and I feel like Kathleen. Kathleen got eighth place, but she was gone too soon. I also feel like Elias. Carbone yep. was gone too soon, and Camilla Magalhaes was gone too soon. I forgot she played. Kamala, Kamala, uh, not, not Kamala. Camilla. <laughs> C- Camilla. Camilla Harris. No, Camilla. <laughs> Camilla wanted to leave, though. So, That's but she was waiting until she got, she she did it correctly. She was waiting to get voted out, not, um, <laughs> she didn't quit. <laughs> Jada Kim's little sister, Sophia Kim, was in this, too. I remember you said Yeah, that. she saw Amanda's furry porn. No, uh, she, that she, poor little girl. I don't know girl. if she was 12 or 13, but yeah, she got voted out fifth. That poor little girl. <laughs> But overall, oh yeah, no, Ollie was also voted out fourth, which he's like he's like he's like always he was like the, such an op in Y two K. I feel like it would have been awesome if he stayed <laughs> and uh, lasted longer. But anyways, that pretty much rounds up our podcast episode for the bottom five boot orders in Gauntlet history. Until season, you know, maybe maybe season fourteen will either be really good or really bad when it comes around uh, in a couple months. Let's see. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, um. So that's the episode. Hope to tune in next week for whatever we got. I don't know what we got yet, but we'll figure <laughs> it out. Where is Raw Dog in this whole thing? And for now, we will see you all in the next episode. Bye!